invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Bash, with Alan Reed as the star. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America. He promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventure. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, most wonderful thing about America is the different schools that they got here. There is a day school, night school, a public school, a private school, a secretary school, a business school. And uh, yesterday, I'm going to read about a school, a special, for people with tiny fingers. It's called a short-to-hand school. <laughs> well, Mamma Mia, it's getting late, and I've got to go to my night school. The class is a chipping in the money to buy Miss Spaulding a present. And I'm not the one to miss it. Even though I don't know my lesson, because I'm thinking what to buy her. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Quiet, please, please. Fine. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Yes. Mr. Harwin? Yeah. Mr. Olson? Yes. Mr. Schultz? Mr. Schultz, did the cat get your tongue? You must have been in my delicatessen today. That's so for hot. <laughs> no, I don't mind the tongue so much, but the cat got so thirsty, he was drinking beer all day. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that's ridiculous. How could the cat get into the beer? Well, that's what kills me. All day long, I was standing around opening up cans for it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Such talk. Sometimes I wonder what a psychoanalyst would make out of all this. $25 an hour. <laughs> Please. Now, class, our first problem in algebra is very simple, and you should easily be able to figure it out. Now, listen. If John can dig a ditch in one day, and it takes Mary two days to dig that ditch, how long would it take John and Mary digging together? Mr. Basco. John and Mary? That's right. What's their second name? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, that doesn't matter. Now listen. If John can dig a ditch in one day, and it takes Mary two days to dig it, how long would it take John and Mary digging together? Three days? No. Four days? No. Five days? <laughs> Luigi, give them the weekend off. <laughs> no, no. Mr. Basco, you're not thinking today. Now, don't you remember what I taught you yesterday about X? Let X be the unknown quantity. Now, Mr. Basco, in that problem, how much is X? Seventy cents a dozen. <laughs> I give up. Miss Folding, you have called on everyone here, but you didn't call on me. My feelings are hurt. There he goes again. Oh, what a show off. <laughs> Einstein with a cool haircut. <laughs> Mr. Olsen, I'm very sorry. You may give the class the answer. Thank you. Using algebra with X, the unknown quantity, the answer is 16 hours. That's perfect, Mr. Olsen. Mr. Schultz, what do you think of that? A bulldozer could have done the job in 30 minutes. This morning, now I will tell the class how I got the answer. Uh, figure it out first with common sense. John digs the hole in one day. Mary digs it in two days. So I figure together they must dig the hole in less than one day. Olsen, the next time John and Mary dig that hole, I hope it's for you. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, instead of trying to be so funny, why don't you try to show some interest and learn something about algebra? Well, frankly, Miss Spalding, with such a beautiful teacher as you. Mr. Schultz? So you are so lovely. 
it's sometimes very hard to concentrate. <laughs> In the show? Such beautiful blonde hair and blue eyes. I've never Mr. Wanted. Show? Yes? Well, uh, finish what you were saying. <laughs> My question can wait. <laughs> You just in a time. We was a starting to talk about the Miss Spaulding's a present. The best is not good enough for her. Right, then I am shipping in my quarter right now. Quarter? <laughs> Olsen, what are you trying to do? Start inflation? <laughs> the only thing you could buy with a quarter today is two dimes and a nigger. <laughs> Boys, let's leave it up to each person himself. I'm shipping in ten dollars. Well, we want to give her a present, not a life pension. <laughs> I'm agree with the Horowitz. I'm gonna get ten dollars a two. Yes. How about you, Schultz? I give twice whatever Olsen gives. Then <laughs> you'll bring him any half my ten dollar bill. And I give twice that. Two fives. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, Schultz. Now we got a forty dollars. I got a good idea what to buy. Uh, you don't know, Luigi. You're a bachelor. We buy a one of those things like my wife has got it. What's that, Schultz? Oh, who knows what they call it? She wears it when she goes to sleep. It's uh, Made from pink satin or something. It's got two straps on top of it. And on the back it says, World's Fair, New York, 1939. <laughs> I have a better idea. It's getting hot weather. Miss Spaulding goes to the beach. So let's get her something modern. A Catalina swimsuit. But the her, with that, it's no good. She's no living a Catalina. <laughs> Oh, you little dumb cop. You think if you go on a Pan American clipper, you gotta take a haircut? <laughs> Why don't we get her a smoking jacket? <laughs> no, I got an idea. Maybe we should. I told you, Luigi. What do you know? Well, how about the uh, cosmetic? Like uh, Revlon nail polish? That's good, but it's only 60 cents a bottle. But if she's got a tennis fingers up to six dollars. <laughs> Nothing doing. For six dollars, we can send her out and get her diamond eyes. <laughs> Look, everybody, I'm got a better idea. Oh, Luigi, will you stop? Sure. Give Luigi a chance Go. to talk. What's your idea, Luigi? Well, uh, I was to think of something where we don't have to worry about a size or anything else. Uh -huh. We get a, a pack of the book, and you know the thing with the powder? It's a, it's a com compact. Yes. That's a nice present, and it costs about $40. It's oh, a wonderful, wonderful idea. idea. Luigi, if you had yeah, such a sure. good idea, why didn't you open your mouth before instead of reaching <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. You excuse me, I'm in a big hurry now. Wait a second, a little pumpkin ahead. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna buy a present for somebody. That's so nice. It's about a time that you bought us something for my Rosa. Pasquale, this present is not for Rosa. It's for a girl. Oh. <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> Luigi. Since when you got enough for money to buy a present for somebody? Well, it's for my school teacher, Miss Spaulding. Who we all put in forty dollars. I got a twenty dollars to buy her nice pocket book. And Schultz has got a twenty dollars to buy her company. Now wait, wait. Don't rush you so fast. You know, Luigi, they got a saying in the barber shop that a fool and his money is soon apart in the middle. Now, Luigi, what would have happened if you lose this money? Oh, Pasquale, that would have been terrible. That's see what I thought. Luigi, you better watch out. Why? They got a fellas walking around to give you a belt in the head to take away your money. That's what they call a money belt. <laughs> money belt? Uh, for Pasquale, I thought in America they called them a robbers. Who's to live in America longer, you or me? Robbers is what they wear on a rainy day. <laughs> was to lose that money, you would do anything to get it back, wouldn't you? You might even, uh, marry Rosa. <laughs> mm, I wouldn't lose the money. <laughs> Don't be so sure. 
Luigi, I'm a little worried. Look, I'm a very busy man, but I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang around you all day and a bodyguard of your money. So you are very sorry for me, Pasquale. Why? Because I'm a lover of you, you little cabbage paws. <laughs> Come on, and we go to the store for your teachers, the president. All right. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I'm just to remember something. Now it's at 12 o'clock. It's a bad time to go shopping. Department stores are full of pickpockets. What? The time to go is between the 5 30 and the 6. That's a bargain of time. <laughs> bargain of time? Sure. By that time, all of the pockets is a pick. Customers can afford to buy the can anymore. Prices will go down. When you walk in, you get twice as much of your money. <laughs> but, Pasquale, what are we going to do until 5 30 or 6 o'clock? Well, don't worry. There's lots of things to do. We go to the park, oh. enjoy the fresh air. Luigi, uh, was you ever in a link in a field? No, what's the that? That's the, like a Santa Anita. <laughs> you uh, sit up in the stands, you get a nice Son of ten, enjoy yourself. This sounds a good, Pasquale. Sure, you're going to love it. So let's go. You're watching the horses that run around. Horses? Yes, it's uh, like a zoo. Oh. oh, it's wonderful in there. By the time you get it through looking at the green grass and the blue sky and smelling the fresh air, believe me, Luigi, you're going to feel like you went into the cleaners. <laughs> For the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, in a minute to my good friend Pasquale and me, we're going to link in the field. Right now, Pasquale is a run down to the corner for a minute. I think he must have bad itch, because he's telling me he's run out to buy a scratch sheet. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think it was a very nice of Pasquale to offer to help me watch him spoiling the present money. Hey, Luigi, come on! Oh, he's calling me now. I'm going to finish this a letter late. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lincoln Field. Full time for the first race is 1.30. Well, Luigi, how you like? Eh? Well, it's a, it's a funny kind of park, Pasquale. No trees and no flowers and no mamas with a baby carriage. Only lots of people are running around and looking and worry. <laughs> you know, I think they're all looking for jobs because they're all checking off the things in a newspaper. Luigi, let me explain to you. Besides this being a park and a zoo, over here is also a race track. Sooner the horses are going to run around the track and people are going to bet on who's going to come in first and everybody wins lots of money. Everybody's a win? That's right. Explain to me more about the decent race. Ah, it's getting into your blood, eh? <laughs> well, to begin with, there's uh, all kinds of races, you see? There's a maiden the races, the steeplechases, and the daily doubles. There's just so much to learn. Sure. Five minutes to close time. Well, Luigi, I'm going to make my first bet and start a winning at the money. You want to come along with me? Not that I would have let you bet. No, 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 thanks, Pasquale. What is a good place to sit in the sun? I've got a wonderful spot for you. Come on, right by the two dollar window. Come on. <laughs> Pasquale, uh, is, is it five o'clock? How long does it take to get to the apartment store from here? Don't worry. You've got plenty of time to buy another present for your teacher. How you can sit around for six races without making a one bet, I'm not going to understand. But, Pasquale, I've been telling you, is it not my money? I'm not going to touch. Luigi, if it was for me, I'm not care for you never make a bet. But a fellow who's owning this the racer tracker, he's a no like a slackers. 
Place your bets for the seventh race. Luigi, best man is the hollering to you. Father <laughs> Pasquale, what's to happen if I'm a loser, Miss Spalding's money? Luigi, in this race, it's impossible to lose. I can't lose it. The effort. And look, Luigi, if you bet on this horse, a rose is a gal, that's a 200 to one shot. For you $20, you get a $4,000 back after the race. $4,000 to Mamma Mia. Rose is a gal. What a hunch. My Rosa, she's a you girl. And she's away as much as the horse. Go! Oh. All right, all right. Where I go, Pasquale? Yeah, well, it's a $20 window. Hurry up! All right, sir. Uh... Well, Luigi, it's a Next. Number three, two times. Next. Number five, Dr. Klein, to place. Next. I'm like to put in $20 down of payment on my $4,000. Hey, look, look, mister, what's a horse you want to bet on? A horse is a gal. What's the number? You mean a horse is a gal a telephone? Oh. <laughs> Mister, let's get moving. You want that Rose's gal? That's number five. All right, here's my twenty dollars. You gonna know it's a mine? He's a got a rubber band around and it's written in my name, Luigi Basco. He's a right on the link and is a beard. Fine. Now look, you want to bet that twenty? Win, place, or show? Huh? You want the horse to come in first, second, or third? The horse that does it whatever I want to. <laughs> no, no, just how do you want to bet? I'm expecting my horse to win. 20 to win. Window closed, that's all. Oh, God, I always get up and running. Uh, a red cow is going to the front. Uh, Hey, no way. You have a look all over. You make you back? Yeah, but $20 on the roses of Gary. Hey, come on. Let me go to the front. The wheel can watch the rest. Uh, it's the half mile. It's the Leon's boy, Dr. Klein, and Dr. Easy Twist. It's a Dr. Klein and Easy Twist. Easy Twist and Dr. Klein. Where's the rose is again? And now Rose Gal is making a move. Uh, here she comes out of the starting gate. Uh, <laughs> running like wildfire. Come on, the rose is again. Uh, hurry up. Dr. Uh, Klein is taking the lead. Uh, it's Dr. Klein in front by a length. Uh, uh, Dr. Klein by two lengths. Uh, and here comes... Cynical Papa. Where's the roses again? Easy twist and cynical Papa from neck and neck. Here he comes down the line of finish, and the winner is, uh, Red Coat. Pasquale, it means I'm a loser to $20. Yes, it looks alike. Luigi, how could you be such a terrible man to better your own teacher's a person? But if it. Well, it wasn't your advice. But if you was a real honest person, you wouldn't have listened to me. Uh, go away. If there's anything I hate, it's a gambler. <laughs> but, well, I, I, I'm going to do anything you ask me. Only promise me you're never going to tell anybody how I'm a bet the teacher's the money on the race. Sure, Luigi, I promise. Wait, hey, wait. That's a Schultz. Schultz? Yeah, I think he was a following of me. Oh, he's a running away. Hey, Schultz, come here. Oh, oh, oh you catched me. <laughs> Luigi, forgive me. I did a terrible thing. I bet me Spalding's $20 on the haters. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Luigi. <laughs> forgive me, Schultz. Schultz, you know something. I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Luigi, we are the lowest things in the world. What are we going to tell Olsen and Horowitz? What is there to tell? I'm going to lose all of the money. You lost? You don't come. I won. <laughs> well, certainly you have the dope like for Spalding. Give you advice. I got some red hot tips from a smart fellow. Via Harvey White, the fellow from the racing team. Harvey, meet my friend Luigi. Hello, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> And so, Mamma Mia, with the money, Schultz is a winner who had bought the Miss Spalding some wonderful present. A beautiful pocketbook and a two gloves, one for each hand. <laughs> At the first, she's a say no. She's a no, can accept such expensive a present. But the whole class will make her take it. She can use it. And besides, in a few days, she's going to mark our final examination of papers. <laughs> <laughs> 
And every little bit to help. <laughs> you know, it's kind of Luigi Bosco, the little immigrant. J. Carol Mass is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, and Mary Ship as Miss Spalding. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. <laughs>